What's up, y'all? This Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. A major reason why many men fail with women. A major reason. And it ain't the usual suspects either. You know what? It ain't because of their looks. It ain't because they don't have money. It ain't because they lack status. Heck, even uh, even with the physique thing. Because you got some guys who fail with women and shit and... Psh, Shoot, they could probably give uh, classes on developing your body. And shoot, and they have some charisma, at least uh, social charisma. They can get along, and shoot, if you kind of look at their behavior, they still masculine. So you'd be like, well, hold up, Ron. These dudes got all this stuff, still don't get women. The thing is, it comes down to one thing. I don't care what you have, because all that other stuff is out of stuff. It comes down to the mind. Your mindset and everything. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this weather. Anyway, it comes down to the mindset. Seriously. You know what? I was thinking about that because uh, I'm thinking about some uh, men that have su I've successively, successfully coached in the past. And as far as coaching, just, you know, they read my books and actually did what I said do, you know. And they went from men who couldn't get any women to plenty but then they saw the real thing and everything i'm saying is to change how you think because like i had one dude and i had mentioned him before i ain't gonna call his name but my inner circle know exactly who he is and he actually has a little bit of notoriety but i wouldn't call his name without talking to him first and he i remember you could put him in a room full of women he was scared to talk to him he'd be real quiet mousy Shit, now you put them in a room full of women, they fight. He he trying to fight them off. And only and his looks didn't change. His looks didn't change. His financial situation didn't change. The most he might have did body-wise was maybe put on 10 pounds. Because he was a slim dude. Still is a slim dude. So what is it? He changed his mindset. In fact, uh, I was thinking about an example. I'm going to put it in the description box. It's, it's, it's a fictional example, but... Shoot, everybody else be getting stuff off this show. And that's uh, Married with Children. Like, there was an episode, Al just changed his whole mindset and everything. All of a sudden, women were going crazy. I'll share the clip with y'all. I'd never forget that episode. And it, his looks didn't change. All he did was just change his mentality and stuff. And I'm going to tell you what kind of moved me to do that. Because there were a couple comments in my video yesterday talking about the ugly, sexy play. And, of course, somebody going to come up and say, well, does this include if you're short or all of that? I'll say ugly is ugly, you know? Shit. But one thing with the ugly, sexy play, they just don't give a fuck. Their mindset is like, okay, I'm ugly. Okay. Let me keep going. And I'm going to tell you something now. And this is some deeper game that I know some If I say this, people going to say, hey, do a video on it. It's, nah. A lot of people ain't ready for this level of game. But, um... Your mindset, I'll just say your mindset can be very attractive to women. I'll leave it at that. Very attractive. But it's not even about the women, your mindset, really. Yeah, it can be attractive to them, but it's about what you think about yourself. See, a lot of dudes, you know, they want to use the excuse of, well, I ain't getting women. Um, you know, I don't look that good. Yet somebody who looks similar to them got more women than they know what to do with or somebody will say well you know what uh i got a short stature yet some of the most cold-blooded players i've personally known who look similar to them had the similar height had multiple women seriously for every argument somebody got every single argument somebody got as to why women won't get with them there is someone out there who's doing just that there's someone who's doing just that. Even if, uh, shoot. Interesting. Um, Y'all don't even need to know what it was. Uh, even, even, you know, some dudes that, you know, some people might call Chad or Tyrone or something. You be thinking they're getting all the women. You talk to them, man. They ain't had none in two years. Women checking them out. I've actually known some dudes like that. I personally know some dudes like that. They should be getting every, according to wisdom or popular 
I ain't even gonna call it wisdom. Popular sentiment, you know, some dudes, they should be getting every woman because of how they look. Yet, they counts are under five. They counts are under five. Now, this from knowing them personally, because they'll tell you that shit. You know, if a man volunteers, he only been with two women or three or just one, you know he being honest because you, you you know us. <laughs> you know men always uh, add to that total. So if a dude don't only say one, oh, shit. And, but his mindset wasn't there. I mean, he was cool peoples, and a couple of them were cool peoples. One I knew very well, a couple, you know, knew him enough. They were very cool peoples otherwise, but when they interacted with women, it was just, the mindset wasn't there. Because everything starts in the mind. Like, you can have all the tools. That's why you got some uh, guys who got all the money in the world because they supposedly work and still had trouble. Because here's the thing. I don't care what you got, you still got to interact, and you got to have the right mindset for them. I'm going to tell you what, even with myself. Now, I told you, I always tell the story of, like, you know, everything just took it to another level when I got body game, but I ain't never tell. Well, I had told the second part of that, just having done so recently. But I had learned some stuff from uh, some sex workers. Now, I was already pretty good at getting dates and, you know, getting some pussy here and there. I was already pretty good at that. I thought I was doing something. But then these sex workers, they told me something, and all it did was just change my whole mindset or adjusted it or opened my mind to something. All of a sudden, it went to a new level. The shit became too easy. And I've thought about that. Yeah, yeah, I had the body and everything, but it was that second part. It was that second part. It was just the mindset. See, a, a lot of dudes are too, too caught up in why what they don't have. But it is all you have, though. So you got to work with what you got. If you get if, if you get somebody give you lemons, make lemonade. You really good, make lemon meringue pie. But you got to have a mindset because there's always going to be some. Ain't nobody perfect. You show me somebody perfect. And then show me somebody maintain that perfection all their life. You, you ain't gonna see that shit. You know? First of all, you ain't gonna find anybody perfect to shoot. I saw, uh, I saw actually a short video. I, I can't remember where I found it and stuff. A woman was talking about some men who she called ugly sexy. But I said, wait a minute, the same guys I hold up as handsome. So even that, it's like, you don't know what they thinking. But, as a man, you just got to go on. Somebody ain't going to like what you got. I don't care who you are. I don't care how handsome you are. Somebody ain't going to like it. But if you had a mindset of, you know what, I'm going to take what I got. I'm going to make the best out of what I got. And then I'm going to have a positive attitude. It's going to change everything. Just like an example in that uh, clip I'm sharing with Al Bundy. All he did was change his attitude. And that's it's very simple. Seriously. I've never seen, I'm going to tell you what, I've never seen that to fail. I've never, I've never seen that to fail. Somebody just changed their mindset. In fact, there was a dude, he was a black, I can't remember his name now. And I only know of him because somebody said he called my name in a um, in a live stream. I ain't bother listening to it, but I remember I just, last time I checked on that, I was like, hold up, who's this person? And he had that typical black pill stuff, but then he did a video, and somebody might even know who it is. If you do, just put his name in the description box and the link to, well, put his name in the description box. It's, you're too funny about links and, for, and stuff, and I'm slow about reviewing comments that get uh, put in review. But that dude, the last video I saw from him, that dude was like, you know what, I'm leaving all that all that negative stuff behind. He just changed his whole mindset. Because that's all it really is. Because seriously, like um, like when I did the ugly uh, sexy video, ugly sexy player video, you know, that whole thing was just to address, hey, you got some guys who know they ugly and still get pussy. And from attractive women. So, but the thing is, they just got the mindset. They live with whatever they got. They even make fun of it themselves and still go on and do their shit. Still go on and do their shit. You know? Because that's all you can do. It's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. And that's where a man's strength is anyway in his mind because 
his mind is strong, then he can do whatever. He can he can make any move he need to make. He can do whatever. And a lot of dudes really, I'm gonna tell you what, and this is some serious shit. A lot of dudes need some therapy or something. I've recommended therapy. In fact, I had one dude who was commenting on my stuff and some negative comments, and I, I did a video kind of addressing that, and he said straight up, he said, you know what, Rom, I'm going to stop commenting. I'm, I'm signing up for therapy and everything, man. You got to get that mind right, however you're going to do it, whether it's therapy, whether it's just stopping. And I guarantee, yeah, I said it, I guarantee your shit going to change if you change your mind. Now, not if you do superficial shit. You get people who do superficial shit. It ain't going to change because ain't. you got to hit it down. You got to hit it. You got to hit it in your mind. You got to hit it in your spirit. Something's going to change for you. You just look at shit different. You know? Like I mentioned that thing, learning the shit from the sex workers. All they did, they didn't give me anything specific. All they did was just change how I looked at uh, women. And I was like, Damn. <laughs> I was actually mad at first because I said, damn, you know how much pussy I left on the table? Because <laughs> I started looking at it because it pointed out just one. It was like just some basic shit, right? Damn. I was going right there, my thing. Anyway. Uh, don't you hate when you about to pull into some one way somebody come the other way? Anyway. There was just some, um, they just told, they just said something basic. I always keep it to myself, too. A few men in a circle, no, no, I ain't sharing it. Actually, I'll take that back. I've shared it several times. I ain't going to share it in this video. People actually, that's why I always say, listen to what I'm saying. I've said it several times. Once you understand that, you'll be like, damn, this shit too easy. Seriously. I've said it several times in different videos. I've said it several times consistently. Like just, you know, it's as, it's as consistent as I say, hello there. This is what I'm with. <laughs> but... What's uh, preventing some dudes from hearing it is their mindset. Even like a lot of stuff that I say, I could say whatever. Somebody only going to hear. There's going to be some dudes that only hear stuff that feeds into their negativity and their negative mindset. I don't care what I say. You could say a thought. I could say all this positive shit on any video and somebody just going to hear the negative part. Or they're going to hear it. And even then, they'll hear part of it that satisfied. Everything else goes over their head. I've actually said that to some people. They'll say something. I was like, did you listen to what I actually wrote or said? Did you listen to it? I've said that more than a few times. Did you listen? They talking about some shit. I'm like, I ain't say that in a video. You know? But they heard what they want to hear. They heard what they want to hear. You know? I've had that more than a few times. But see, when you got that mindset, you only hear what sat, what, what, uh, um, like feeds into your own false belief system. And anybody follow my deep thought know I get more into that there. But seriously, that mindset thing, you change that mindset, guarantee other shit will change overnight. Overnight, really. Because you're just looking at shit different. You, you, you responding to stuff different. You focusing on different things. And if a dude want a woman, he got to ask himself, like, like I said, you know, you get some dudes thinking, well, I ain't tall enough. Yet, the majority, the average height of a man is 5'9". In this country, it's, shoot, other countries even uh, even uh, not as tall. And they fucking. Or somebody say they got to be built a certain way. But if you go to certain places, shoot, you got to, like, you know, nice, strong, stocky build. You can't, you can't turn away the damn pussy. But it's the mind, ultimately, it's the mindset. If you think something's going to be a problem, something's going to be a problem. I'm going to tell you some game women gave me. Like I said, listen to women. And I would listen to women. There would be several women to tell me why I might have messed up with another woman. And they say, yeah, sometimes we'll let you just do something and we won't say anything. You know? And sometimes somebody think it's something, but honestly, you really don't know. You might think it's one thing, but it might be something else. It might be just the attitude. It's a fact yeah, I talk to a lot of women. They'll say, you know what, dude was all right. Like I always say, dude, they'll say a good dude was all right to open his mouth. And many women get turned off just by the attitude of the man. Now, even the physicality, they think he's fine. Then they talk with him, and he's like, you know what, that's okay. <laughs> you know, strictly the attitude. So, you know, that's all it is. Seriously. I'm going to tell you what. Like I said, I, I think I said it here somewhere. I don't know. 
But my attitude dealing with women is if I can have a conversation with them, I'm good. Even if I don't want to fuck them afterwards. You know? I don't, I don't go in thinking they're going to automatically reject me. You know, but some dudes think so. Some dudes, you know what? It's crazy. Some men will approach a woman and they're already thinking she's going to reject them. Well, that's a waste of time. If you think that, why even bother approaching? And then they'll do stuff to actually bring it on. See, that's how powerful the mind is, too. Because you, they'll behave in such a way where the woman will reject them. Like they'll walk up to a woman. They'll, they'll think, oh, this woman's going to reject me. So they're walking up all nervous and shit. She ain't turned on. She might think you yeah, she might think you cute too, but she ain't turned on by that. She be like, hold up, this dude all nervous and fumbling his words, not speaking up, not looking her in the eye. You actually created you actually created a situation. I want y'all to think about that. I want y'all to think about that, all right? Shit. Yeah? Cause let's be real out this bill. Nobody nobody out here perfect. I don't give a fuck. Shit. Nobody, hey, nobody out here perfect, and you, 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 you show me the person who's perfect out here, and then show me how. Cause there ain't no physical perfection. People try to say there is, but that's just some like racial chauvinism. Seriously, that's all that is. Everybody, hey, everybody got something. That's why I say tribe. Somebody gonna like you, but before you even get to that point. Whether you're doing body game, tricking, well, I don't care what it is. You got to get that head right. You got to have the right mindset. That changes a whole lot. All right? So, anyway, I want y'all to think about that, though, because I'm going to tell you what. I'm, look, I'm going to say it like this. If you don't change your mindset, it's a waste of time following me or listening to me. It's a waste of time. Look, do us both a favor. If you subbing me and you ain't changing your mindset, just unsub me. Y'all know this, and I say that because I, I, I don't trip over uh, subs. I want some. I want wolves on here. I want some men who are trying to do some shit. You know, seriously, I want some serious dudes. That's why I don't have any patience for some dudes who, you know, be on here and they all on some negative shit. I don't have time for it. Cause, man, I'm gonna tell you what, and. I've kind of said it, like that thing I learned from the sex workers, that real trick. And I've said it several times. I'll give you a part of it, how thirsty these women are. If you understand that, all you need is the drink of water for them. I want to go know who's going to peep that. Seriously. It's a simple concept. And that's just a part of it. But if somebody can pick up that much, they'll figure out the rest. But anyway... And I guarantee that. Hold up, hold up. Let me stop for a second. I guarantee somebody heard what I just said and they'll still misconstrue it because of their own negative attitude. They'll find some reason to. Because I said that before and somebody was like, well, that's only for certain men. Y'all not really listening to it. Listen to it good. <laughs> you know? And think about when somebody is hungry or thirsty. Just think about it. Anyway. And that's it. Trust me, the rest will come to you after that. <laughs> the rest will come to you after that. So anyway, yeah, somebody still gonna mess that one up. Anyway, y'all, that's all I got for today. Let me go ahead and get my vittles. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.